Welcome to part 12 of our Knights of the Old Republic lore play series. Last time we talked about the planet Manon and the Selkath. Today we'll be actually reaching the star map here by exploring the depths of the ocean. By talking to a Republic ambassador, we learn that secret excavations underwater have uncovered some ancient structures as well as driven a Republic installation insane. We agree to check out the installations so we can hopefully find the star map. The Selkath species were famously neutral in the Jedi Civil War, profiting off of both the Republic and the Sith by selling Kolto. Kolto was a healing liquid similar to Bacta, and it was necessary to both sides of the war. Despite their neutrality, the Selkath did favor the Republic and secretly helped them set up an operation at Rackert Rift where Kolto could be directly accessed. Communications with the facility were lost, and we need to check it out. We'll need to be careful down here. One wrong step could alert enemies to our presence. And there goes Jolie running through a mine on his own. And again. Don't you do it. You guys are killing me. Well, if you're gonna run through him anyway, I'm just gonna use you to clear a path. You're fine. Walk it off, buddy. We learned that while construction was happening down here, a giant Faraxan shark was awakened. Its presence somehow drove the Selkath insane, and they attacked the members of the Republic, which is how we lost communications. Our goal is now to destroy the Kolto Harvester in hopes that it will pacify the massive shark. And the process to do so does not sound simple. So while I do that, I thought we could talk about Kolto, Bacta, and another healing liquid called Rykla. Kolto could only be found here on Manan. Legend has it that it originated from that giant shark. It was very similar to Bacta in that patients, or at least their wounds, were submerged in the substance until they were healed. It was also used in med packs. Since it was only found on Manan, scientists went to great lengths to synthesize it, but had no success. Bacta was discovered around the year 4100 BBY, which is around 800 years after the events of this game. Once that happened, Kolto became obsolete and the economy of Manon collapsed. Like Kolto, Bacta only came from one planet, Typhera. It was thought to be much more effective than Kolto, and it was administered in the same manner through submersion tanks, med packs, and more. Not long after the destruction of the second Death Star, Yasan Isard developed the Krytos virus, which attacked non human species and required large amounts of Bacta for treatment. The goal was to force the New Republic to use up their entire supply of Bacta. This worked for a time, but it also caused the creation of a new substance called Rykla. It was created by combining Bacta ingredients with a spice called Rill, and it was a cure for the Krytos virus. Not much else is known about it. Now here we are at this interface, which is basically a puzzle, and this isn't a walkthrough video, so let's just zoom through all of this, and yay, I solved it. We destroy the harvesting machinery, and the monster calms down and allows us to pass over to the star map. Thanks, monster. Now that we've seen the map, we can head back to the surface. But first, we have to face Darth Malak's apprentice, Darth Bandon. I love that when we face him, his buddy immediately turns on his lightsaber like, yeah, let's fight, but then Bandon goes into his whole speech, and he's like, oh, all right, Bandon wants to talk. I've really glazed over Bandon so far, but I'll talk about him more in the future, even though I just killed him. Oh well. Well, now we can move on from this planet, but there is something more I'd like to explore while we're here, so next week we'll be discussing a secret bounty hunter guild that can be found on Manan. If you want to watch this series from the beginning, check out this playlist here. If you haven't already, please like this video, subscribe to the channel, follow me on Twitter, Instagram, and Facebook, and consider checking out my Patreon page. As always, thanks for watching, and may the Force be with you.